<laughs> Why do I sound like a weather host? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my second Harry Potter film location YouTube video. I think it should be. If I've not got the other one up yet, that's quite embarrassing and quite lazy of me. I'm sorry. Also, if you watched the last one during Cathedral, I can only apologise. It's my first ever vlog and it's trash. Straight trash, pure trash. I'm so, like, honestly, I watched it and I was like, this is really bad. I don't even want to watch myself right now. So if you watch that, I'm so sorry. I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. Um, but today's a new vlog. It's a different vlog. It's my second vlog. I'm a bit more comfortable and I'm determined for it to be better. So today the time is 12, to, oh, 12 24 and it's the 12th of December and it is a very special Harry Potter day because today I am sleeping at Hogwarts. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm sleeping at Hogwarts for Christmas. I, if you follow me on social media, you might have known I've already done this. I did it in September. I slept at Christ Church College in Oxford, which is where I'm staying today, but it's the Christmas version. Um, and it's so special, it was such a special evening last time I went and I'm so excited to go again and sleep there again and um, what's really exciting about this, you have breakfast in the Great Hall as well which the Great Hall at Christchurch College is the inspiration for the actual Great Hall which I could cry, I could cry with excitement and happiness um and obviously Christchurch College the staircase and the hallway um is used in Harry Potter it's the first like the crazy thing it is the first thing we ever see of Hogwarts and I'm going there and I'm sleeping there and I'm just so excited to walk up them stairs again because uh because I'm going there at night I can walk up the stairs at night is and that is what they do in the first film the first ever film they walk up the stairs at night so first thing I want to do is a fit check. I've not left yet. I'm not even put my bags. <laughs> I'm doing a fit check for I'm not even I'm not even put my bags yet. Um, but I I've got my fossil Gryffindor watch on, my fossil um, necklaces on. This is my favourite necklace ever. It's a mirror of Eris and necklace. I got my Hermione wooden wand, and this is. Wait, you can't even see it all. I'll just have to do a better one when I'm out, but this is the fit check. My boots, which I've travelled the country with me. Um, and my Gryffindor um, tie. And I will be wearing my robe as well and my scarf. So this is a very exciting trip day. And I can't wait to bring you all along with me. I will vlog when I'm there. And I, I'll show you around Oxford as well and show you because will be parking you can't there's no car parking at Christchurch so I will show you the car park that we're staying in it's the cheapest car park that we found and then I'll see you at Hogwarts hey guys we're nearly there now um it's been like a two hour trip I'm I'm nervous I can't lie to you I'm nervous about being here it's snowing well it's not it's not snowing it's snowed like there's snow on the ground around us and it's not been snowing where I am and I am very nervous for how cold it's gonna be because your gal's wearing a skirt I'm wearing a skirt and all I have with me is a coat <laughs> I'm scared I'm scared this this is the only thing I regret every single time I go to a place I never dress appropriately because I try to dress like a Hogwarts student and it never works out in my favour in winter. Never. But I would say you live and you learn, but I don't learn. Um, but yeah, we're parking in a place called Ops Pens. Uh, I'll show you the car park when we're there. It's the cheapest one that we found to stay in, and it's like a 10 minute walk away. Probably less, like a 10 minute less walk away from Christchurch itself. Um, and then yeah, we're going to walk there and then we're going to check in and get our bags to uh, the room and then probably go and get some food because it's like, actually no, it's only 3 o'clock. It's um, 
it's that dark outside, I thought it was like five. <laughs> uh, so I'll probably just chill in the room for a bit and then, I don't know, maybe walk around Oxford because uh, I forgot that they have like the Christmas market and, uh, and stuff at the moment. So maybe just a quick walk around Oxford for getting some food. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. But as always, you will come along. So we parked at Oxford Ice Food Oxford Ice Rink, which is behind us, and um, the parking was the cheapest we could find, £25 for 24 hours. Listen, listen, shh, 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 listen. That is, in fact, my bank account you hear sobbing in my pocket, yes. Um, it's, it's a rough, it is rough. That's a rough amount of money for a car park, but you gotta do what you gotta do to stay at Hogwarts for the night. Um, so yeah, 25 pound and like a five to 10 minute walk to the place now. I've got my trunk and everything and I will see you there. So just on the, still on the way there, walking there, this one probably makes it look like a longer walk than it is, but it's not. It is freezing cold. It's freezing cold, but you'll probably make more sensible decisions than me and not come in a skirt and tights. Um, I think you should do that. Um, but in Oxford, look, they've got the Westgate, I think it's called, Westgate um, shopping centre, which is a pretty cool shopping, shopping centre in Oxford. Um, I've been there a couple of times now and it's a good shopping centre. I bet it's rammed at the moment though, seeing as it's just before Christmas, so I'll probably avoid it today. But um, I'm not sure we get, where we're getting food yet. It's not dinner time yet. Dinner time. <laughs> it's, not, it's not time to eat yet. So we're just going to go check in and get to our room where I will give you a room tour, of course. So, we have arrived. Here it is, Oxford Christ Church College. We've, this is like the normal entrance that you go through when the college is open, but obviously it's closed at the moment, so we need to go through the student entrance, which is even better. Um, but yeah, here it is. There's a bunch of, when I first came here, I can't lie, Oxford, like, everyone just goes Oxford Uni and I used to think Oxford Uni was just like <laughs> one uni. Then I came here and I saw the 5,000 unis they have just in Oxford and I was like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, we will see you on the inside. And we've made it to just outside our room and I'm obsessed. There's a Christmas tree and I could cry. It's so pretty. Wow. There's so much history in this part as well, but seeing it all decked out for Christmas, it would look even better at night. I can't like, cause it's obviously still a bit light at the moment. So I'm gonna go up to my room anyway and I will film the rest of it later for you guys. We have checked in and we have made it. I thought it was the same room as last time and it's not. And I'm kind of sad because the view last time was unbelievable, but I don't care. I don't care. We're staying at Hogwarts for the night. <laughs> so, are you ready for a little room tour? Here we go. So, we got a nice little, I would say it's nice, but it's not. The bed, ooh, the, the camera, hello. Yeah, the bed feels like um, just sleeping on springs, but it's fine because we have a little bathroom welcome pack, which I took my home last time because um, I loved it. Um, got, yeah, that's the bed area. <laughs> it is a student dorm, but so this is why it may not be, this is why it's nothing fancy. It is a student dorm, remember? Um, this is the outside view and it has been snowing so this is what it looks like and 
I could cry. It was like something out of the film The Holiday. <laughs> um, we've got a fridge and a little little tea set that we can just have. Uh, yes, that's what I had last time. I loved it. Um, and with the signing in, we got given our little um, welcome pack, little guest room information, and it has a little map in there. I took mine home last time. I'll probably do the same this time. Um, and then this is our pass. So this, if you're staying here, you need to have this pass on you at all times. Um, it's what you just tap into your room with and you just get around the Oxford with, this specific uni with. Um, so you need this on you at all time, especially when you're having breakfast. And then the last time we didn't have this, but this time we have been graced with our own bathroom. We had a, we had to have a shared one last time, which I personally didn't mind, but I know for some people they don't want to do shared bathrooms or shared toilets or anything like that. So for the people who don't, I recommend staying here at the meadows um because here you have your own bathroom and everything so it's just a basic setup toilet sink shower the works but i don't mind we're staying at hogwarts i feel very lucky very grateful um i don't know what i'm gonna do next probably just take a walk around uh, after warmed up a bit and yeah by the way we're on the top floor so it's like I'll, I'll probably film walking up how just how many flight of stairs it's not very um disabled um friendly so keep that in mind the stairs everywhere but it does mention that on the website um so just keep in mind if you are um disabled physically disabled it may be tough for you to get around her but yes this is the room this is my hogwarts room for the night my little dorm room and i can't wait to show you ramble before we go out i thought i'd show you on the map where we're staying um so this oh what's going on this is the map so last time we stayed in Peckwater, which I, that's my favourite place to stay. I definitely recommend that the most if you can get there. The Tom Quad is where we entered through. Um, and here is this famous stairs that they use in the films. And we're staying at the Meadow Quad, which is here. So it's closer to the staircase than the Peckwater, but I just enjoyed the views of Peckwater more. Um... I mean, these views are still nice, but the peck water, as I'll show you later, has a Christmas tree outside, and I just love it. It's so, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you as we're walking round, because I'll probably do a little tour for you all. Not me being a tour guide. Hello, this, this is my new job. I should be a tour guide. Um, I give a tour guide of energy. <laughs> so yeah, I will show you around the place and well, I will show you around Hogwarts. Okay, we're here. We're at Hogwarts at night. I don't know why I'm whispering like I'm doing something I shouldn't be. I paid to be here. <laughs> it just feels so like secretive. I feel like students out of bed. Children's in the corridor. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm obsessed. This is what it looks like. It will have this a bit more quiet. Oh, I think there's a talk going on. I'll probably carry on this vlog in a minute. <laughs> So the, in the film Chamber of Secrets, you can see Harry and Ron put their things here in the film. And I just love how at Christmas, 
they've got the Christmas tree up. I know I shouldn't be that impressed because it's just a Christmas tree, but guys, you don't understand how much I love Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas so much. And just seeing it all, like, can you see? I don't know if you can see, there's all like books in there. There's like clearly a little library in that bit. And it's just so pretty, like in here, in this part that we'll show you in a sec, um, there's a bit of filming done in that part in Foster's Stone. It's where Harry finds the trophy for his dad, um, which I'm obsessed. We'll get to at Hogwarts at night. Um, I don't know how I'm still here and I'm not crying. <laughs> I can't see because of the camera right now, but there we go. Here we have it, the iconic staircase uh, seen in Harry Potter. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll show you a bit more of that later. But um, here is the Tom Quad, which is the main quad that we entered through when we first came here. And um, you can't see it now, but there's a bit of snow. You can see it a bit, there's a bit of snow on the ground. And we'll get to get Hogwarts. At Hogwarts at night. This is actually amazing. Like, what, the, none of this is obviously used. Um, there's a chapel in there. Um, probably at the cathedral. Probably go, probably go see that tomorrow. Um, this is, I'm a bit awkward filming in public, but, cause I don't want to disrespect anyone's privacy, but that man looked way into the vlog. If you want to watch it, mail my dog. Um, but I'm obsessed. We are literally walking around the Hogwarts, Hogwarts grounds at night and it's so peaceful. I just look, they're putting up the signs for no entry. That won't stop me. Will I be in there later walking up the staircase with my items? Yes, I will. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a very peaceful walk. There's not really any sound. Um, you see a lot of lights and this is like a this is like a dark academia dream i'm living in my dark academia dream right now remus lupin i you know what i could hogwarts was his favorite place ever no one can tell me different remus lupin would have loved here remus you would have loved up to it also mum and dad i'm i'm at Ho oxford i'm here i'm a student at oxford for the night no one needs to know that but you should be proud i didn't i wish i could have gone gone to oxford uh, i went to loughborough loughborough university instead 10 out of 10 wouldn't recommend um but we will carry on walking and i'll show you another little christmasy bit which i love i'm not sure if it's closed yet I don't, I don't, I don't think it's closed yet because there's some people with red lanyards and I think it's just green lanyards that's in here, but I don't know. Um, but do you want to see this part? <laughs> it's a Christmas tree. And in there, I've not been in there, but um, it'll be interesting to go in there, um, probably tomorrow if I can. But that's like a little library in there, if you can see. Get closer. I don't know if I'm gonna have to stand on this. I'll stand on it anyway. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's actually so cute. Little library. Um, and then let's carry on with the rest of the tour. It's all like dim lit throughout the whole place. Um, which I'm obsessed with and this is my favourite part. This is where I stayed last time where I said that I'd recommend, 100% recommend staying here um, out of all the places to stay, which is Peck Water Quad. It's all um, set up for Christmas and I stayed just there last time um, and it was, I had this view all night, which was amazing. Um, but yeah, let's take a little closer look. What I love here as well, um, you can't see it at night, but during the day you will see it. They have their some of their sporting achievements on the wall. So Christchurch Boat Club, can you see that? Christchurch Boat Club, um, and then 
2010. I don't know if they won it or what, but <laughs> the sporting achievements are there. But how beautiful is that? I'm obsessed. My Christmas Hogwarts dreams have come true. And here's a look at the Peck Walk Quad um, from the best angle. Like I said, this is where I stayed last time, just over here. And it's even more beautiful at Christmas time. Um, like I said, there's a library in there, but there's some women working over there, so I don't really want to go over there at the moment. But that's also another exit. And yeah, this is definitely my place I recommend to stay if you come here. Peck Water. 10 out of 10. If Crash Church see this and you want to write me back, stay again. Please do. <laughs> every, every Oxford shop you go in will have Harry Potter stuff. It's so funny how they all capitalise on it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, quite a bit of Harry Potter stuff here. That's actually pretty cool that they have the time turner. Um, snow globes, they've literally got everything. Um, there's, there was like a specific Harry Potter shop but it's not here anymore but yeah there's about five six shops which all have Harry Potter merch in just like this one and when I say Oxford really capitalise on the fact Harry Potter film there this is what I mean there's a whole Harry Potter shop here, which is very similar to House of Spells in London if you've ever been there, but I do love how it's decorated to be fair. All the candles up, um, there's little sections with like jumpers in, a one section here, um, but the designs open is pretty cool. Um, T-shirts, mugs and scarves diaries um, more bags and just stationery and it's just basically a Harry Potter shop which is pretty cool to be fair um, but I would recommend coming here if you're a Harry Potter fan and you've come here to Oxford and they've got this even a little sweet section but I'm not going to buy anything just because I don't want to, but um, I wonder if it's going to focus. I don't think it's going to focus, but the design of the shop is very cool. Um, as you can see, it's like the Great Hall. Um, so I'd rec definitely rec recommend coming here if you're a Harry Potter fan. The shop is called House of Wonders for the people who are interested and now I'm off to go get some food so I will speak to you all after I think we're going five guys which I just can't wait um it is just gone past six o'clock and we just had food at Wendy's two out of ten two out of ten wouldn't recommend um but we're on the way back to Christchurch now. It is freezing cold. Um, but that might be because I'm in a skirt. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping you have to use your lanyard to get in because if after a certain time it's not open, um, they close the gates, but you use your green lanyard that I showed you beforehand to get in. So I kind of want to do it, but I think it's still open at the moment with guard there. So I won't have to use it, but if you come here, just know you can return at any time. Um, you just have to, <coughs> sorry, you just have to use your lanyard to get in. Um, and that gets you into your room, it gets you into the university grounds, um, and it lets them know that you, you're meant to be there. So we'll see if we have to use it. The it's still open at the moment, so I have to get my lanyard out and show it. But I've got my chili in my hand that I brought back from Wendy's. So um, this may take me a sec if I can find my lanyard so they know I'm meant to be here. 
Um, it's somewhere around here. Uh, yep, yeah, I have found it. <laughs> um, but let's go inside and then show you a bit more of um, Hogwarts at night. And here we have it. Here is the beautiful Christchurch College at Oxford at night. And we will continue walking to the Great Stairs um, as we go back to the room to chill for a bit, to warm up. <laughs> this, we're on a trek back up to the room. We're only at room three and four and we're on at room 12. <laughs> So the trek is a bit of a long one, but like I said, we're staying at Hogwarts, so there's not much to complain about. Um, but this is what I'm on about, how I said, it's not very disabled friendly. So just keep that in mind when, if you want to do the same thing. Um, but I'll show you how to get into your room. So, using the pass, we are given this little key fob. Just press that, and that's you in. And this takes you to room 12 and 13. And then, you do the same again on this one. And voila, we are back to the room for the night. Where we'll be just warming up and then Heading back out later on to film some Hogwarts at night content. So, like I said, we've come in here to warm up. And another cute thing that I I robbed them all last time. <laughs> I took them all up. But you obviously get your little mugs and stuff filled with like hot chocolate and tea and stuff. But they also have these little... Um, special Christchurch boxes that have the teas in. So you have the house blend, um, green tea, my favorite, proper mint, which we all know is peppermint, um, and then more house blend. And yeah, this is like their more little keepsakes that you can take home. Um, I think that's all they have that you can take home other than the little shower pot that we've seen that I took home last time. And I will be taking home again <laughs> you know i want it because it says i do you know what i mean why wouldn't i take this home it has it has christchurch college logo on it and it's just a nice little keepsake to take with you so you definitely come home with something more than memories um like i said you get the little starter pack uh with your mapping and you can take your shower set and the tea set, the teas. Um, but like I said, I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. It's only like 6.30 I think. So I'm just gonna relax for a little bit, um, have something to drink, warm up a bit, because I think it's only like two degrees. And then I will see you on the stairs of Hogwarts. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna take. I'm definitely gonna take my Hogwarts luggage which I've been commenting on already when I got here they said oh that's a beautiful case which they didn't see the Hogwarts logo they it's so funny as well the woman said to me um right as I walked in she was like oh it's like very Hogwarts vibes oh she went I saw your um she saw my um scarf and she said oh there's two girls yesterday uh, very excited they came in their robes and they're just so excited and just like she was kind of like mocking them a bit not in the not in a bad way but she was just like kind of laughing at them and then i was like <laughs> I, was, I was like yeah <laughs> like two girls in the robes <laughs> not me not me <laughs> uh, but yeah i will see you on the staircase the time is currently 7.52 and we're about to go downstairs and film some Hogwarts at night content <laughs> and I'm not okay because I'm fully in my robe and my school Hogwarts school uniform and everything 
and I'm about to walk up the stairs like they did at night. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay. There's a few scenes that I want to recreate um, for my TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. So not all of it is going to be on the vlog. But of course, like always, I will link um, them in the... Um, I'll link them below. Um, I'm just really excited. I can't, I can't literally... These sentences, I'm not even formulating a proper sentence. Jesus. I'm just excited, okay? I just love Hogwarts and I, I'm literally a Hogwarts student for the night, okay? So I'm living my best life, don't judge me. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> so we will see you downstairs. So we're back at this part again, but it's even darker than it was before. Um, it's, let's go in a different way this time. Let's go through that way. Um, I'm so excited. We're gonna currently, we're gonna walk through the part right now that you see Harry and um, Ron and Hermione walk through in the first film when they see um, the trophy of, um, of James Potter, the Quidditch trophy. But look how gorgeous it is in here at the moment I hear, I hear practice I don't know if the camera's picking this up but there's some like practice, like quiet practice going on I'm speechless around here is where you see Ron, Harry and Hermione run Wow, you'll be able to hear it now, surely. I have no words. Can you hear that? Wow. And look at it. All decorated for Christmas. And let's walk up the stairs together. So this is the stairs, this is where they walk up um, in the first film and the second film when they first, this is actually the first thing we ever see of Hogwarts um, and here it is, the staircase you also see Tom Riddle um, right over there um, in the second film it's so quiet here right now it generally feels like we're breaking the rules <laughs> being in Hogwarts after that. Like I said before, Filch would not be happy. Students out of bed! Students in the corridor! <laughs> um, but here it is. We'll just walk up the stairs together quick. In the second film, you see Harry appear from there and he comes up the stairs. Um, let me show you this part quick as well. This is the angle that you see Harry and Ron walk up from when they come through in the second film late, of course. Um, and let's walk up the stairs together. Um, yeah, we'll walk up the stairs together like we're in Hogwarts. This is where they walk up. And then McGonagall is stood right there waiting for them. And that's the view of outside. And here it is, the famous staircase. And right there is where Draco goes. So it's true then, Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. So many iconic scenes and then um, Trevor's on the stairs and goes, no, Trevor's Neville on the stairs and he goes, Trevor. Um, but yeah. So many iconic scenes filmed right here. Um, and this is the view of it all. And it's all at night, which just makes it even better. Um, this is the stairs a bit further down on the other side. 
it generally feels like we're breaking the rules. I actually can't explain to you. Um, we're breaking the rules right now. <laughs> That's a thumbnail for sure. Um, but, and the Christmas lights are on. <gasps> Turn them off. Turn them off. Turn them off now. Just put the Christmas lights on. Just put them, take them off. We'll get in trouble. We'll take them off. Put the Christmas, <laughs> Christmas lights on. <laughs> We're going to get in trouble. <laughs> Turn them off them. Yeah, yeah, turn them off. Um, but that is it guys. You have been given the tour of the inside of it all. And yeah, here it is. <laughs> I'm too nervous to do stuff like this, but here we are. I'm fully dressed in my robes as well. I'm committed to the cause here fully dressed in my robes but here is Hogwarts I'm going to film some other things now um, but yeah I just thought I'd show you all um, Hogwarts at night and I hope you enjoyed it because tomorrow morning we're back again and tomorrow morning we're in the great hall at the top eating breakfast um, but for now, we're gonna enjoy it being here at night and film some. I keep looking up at myself in the camera. I'm so sorry, I should be looking at you guys. That was very self centered of me. Um, but yeah, here it is the famous staircase. Hello, guys. As you can tell, the energy is deflated. It is 10 past 10 at night and. I am about ready for bed. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Great Hall. The Great Hall? I definitely need to go to bed. <laughs> seeing the stairs used in Harry Potter. Um, I went back down uh, after and just had a bit more time there. Just really enjoying being there. Um, like it's such an amazing experience, like being here at night, being at the staircase at night. Um, and also a quick shout out to my sister because my sister got me this as a christmas present so thank you to my sugar mama sister um stephanie <laughs> for getting me this as a christmas present um but i'm gonna get ready for bed now and i will see you all in the morning as we have breakfast in the great hall together good morning guys it's now 7 a.m the next morning and i'm pretty tired um yeah <laughs> i'm pretty tired um we're about to head down for breakfast in the great hall in about 20 minutes um the hours have changed for breakfast i believe from when i stayed in september which was still classed as summer as the uni students went back yet. Sorry about that guys, it cut me off rudely and it's because I ran out of storage on this um, this memory card and I panic deleted loads of things. <laughs> um, so, I managed, so I'm able to get the Great Hall in. But also before I go down to the Great Hall, I want to show you what view I've woken up to. It's all snowy outside. And I'm obsessed. That is where it's like a little gift shop. And this is actually this part where we're staying um, is the front entrance. Um, we, well, there's two, fr actually, don't hold me to that. There's a, there's a couple front entrances, but when I've came before just as a visitor, I've um, come through this entrance because right over there in that building I showed you is where you pick up your multimedia if you want to listen to a bit more um, history facts and just have a little um, audio tour guide as you go around the place but I will see you next in the Great Hall for breakfast so we're in the Great Hall for breakfast as you can see um, you just get your breakfast from over there. There's the Continental there and the full breakfast there. 
um, and you get to choose where you sit in here which is so cool and obviously it's got the Christmas tree up and everything like that which I'm obsessed with and they got the fireplace on and everything so I think I'm gonna go sit down and get some breakfast don't know where I'm gonna sit <laughs> So I just got my English breakfast, um, I think I want to get some continental breakfast after but I've got some orange juice as well. It seems that in at Christmas time they don't have as much as an option as they did uh, in summer but I don't mind. This is quite an amazing view to have with breakfast so I think I'm going to eat my breakfast now and then I'll, I will show you around a bit more after I have eaten. Look at that amazing picture of um, Henry VIII in the middle. I believe you can sit up there as well, um, which is where like older, um, older students and staff uh, sit sometimes as well. Um, when you're in here you can pretty much sit anywhere you want. So I am going to eat my food and I will speak to you later. Whoa, that is close to my head. Um, I've just finished my breakfast. I'm now having some more. Um, might well fill up while we're here. Um, but I just want to show you this view. How amazing is that? That is my view for breakfast. And look at all the stained glass windows and everything like that and all the portraits on the wall. But genuinely I can see why this was used um, as inspiration for Hogwarts Great Hall. Um, the breakfast uh, is honestly 10 out of 10. There's not as much as there was last time. Also, part of me wants to take this. You get a little Christchurch College Oxford um, napkin with your knife and fork. And part of me wants to take it. I'm not going to do it, no but I'm just enjoying the last um, little bit in here by the fireplace. It doesn't get much better than this, or Christmassy than this. Last time I was here, I tripped over that tree over there, so I thought they wouldn't want me back, but we're here. Um, but I'm just gonna finish the rest of my food, and yeah, that's with this view. So I will speak to you all after. Before I left the Great Hall, I thought I'd show you how amazing this stained glass window is. Um, and then right below it is your continental breakfast. You've got your croissants and your toast and your bread and all your cereals and stuff like that. And then you've got your cooked breakfast over there where that lady is. And we sat right in the middle and there's no better time to come at Christmas. Well, for, not food-wise, but for view-wise, Christmas is the time to come. Because that is the most spectacular view. And 10 out of 10 would recommend eating breakfast in the Great Hall. There's some person who just keeps burping. <laughs> After eating breakfast, but um, I don't know if you recognise this bit from yesterday, but you saw it in the dark, and now you're seeing it bright and early in the morning. It's, I swear it's colder than it was yesterday. I'm freezing, but yeah, on the way back to the room now, um, it's freezing. <sighs> Can you see my breath? <sighs> Can't pick it up on camera, but um, yeah, that was such an I might shiver in as I'm speaking that was such an amazing experience um eating breakfast in there when it's all for Christmas the snow on the floor if that doesn't show you how cold it is I'm just gonna chill in the room for an hour before we have to leave and warm up a bit so I will speak to you all later this is how cold it is right now but I thought, because we're at the um, stairs for the last time, that we'll finish off the vlog here. So here's one last view at the staircase 
with all the lights making it whoa the quality there we go making the lights making it look extra pretty um but yeah i thought we'd close out the vlog here because of how amazing it looks so thank you for watching